Hello, I'm Takavach, and today I'd like to talk about the depressurization system in Heartbeat Shipbreaker. Avoiding explosions, avoiding destruction, and avoiding all of the bad things that can happen in the game. This is the atmosphere regulator, the most important part of any depressurization puzzle in this game. This will only depressurize the room that it is in, it will close all doors around it, and any cuts to walls will make it stop working. So I'm just going to repressurize, cut a wall, and show you what happens. When we come to it now, it is now unavailable, you cannot press it. The rules that I found when playing Shipbreaker are like this. First thing you need to do is to depressurize a room, preferably using a regulator, that is the non-violent method. Next, you should try and open any doors. That is the least violent method of depressurizing. The next method is burning the door out with the stinger. That is violent, but not as violent as cutting the door with the split saw. And then we come to walls. With walls, you want to be stingering a large piece of wall that gives the least destruction out of uh, wall destruction. If you stinger a small piece of wall, you will end up with some violence. And uh, split soaring a wall will also be violent. As a bonus, if you are having to cut a wall and you want to do it quickly, you can make multiple cuts with the split saw, and that will actually reduce the amount of violence from the wall's destruction. One of the other interesting rules is that airlock panels are basically indestructible. It is very hard to make them break, and so using an airlock door as your entry point with a split saw or stinger cut is a reasonable method to get yourself a pocket of depressurized air to start the rest of the process. So you've got a big ship. How do you depressurize it when the doors will close when an atmosphere regulator is used? Well, it's quite simple. Find the room that has the atmosphere regulator in it. That's your base point. You then want to go and find all the other doors around the ship and close them. When you then use the regulator and then you open doors, you're going to be opening the rooms one by one and all of the air should dissipate quite nicely. The first of our ship specifics, the mackerel. These are going to have pressurized crawl space that you cannot access. The best way of depressurizing these is to either cut off the front of the ship and it will happily depressurize with minimal issues. Heavy cargo javelins also have a couple of specific points that require a different method. First is a double airlock section which has no entry or exit. There, there is a panel of aluminium on the bottom of it. If you make a cross in the center of it, it should release enough of the aluminium to not have any destruction. The other area could be a broken air regulator in the rearmost cockpit. The best way to deal with that is to open the airlock so it's depressurized on your side and pressurized on the other side and then use your stinger to blast out the door, you will get no destruction that way. Okay folks, that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, do think about giving that subscribe button a click. I've been Tagfatch, thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch you soon.